we doing at your house? You're making a mess. <laughs> You're so worse than a kid. My parents have these chairs right here. And of course I wanted to see what's inside it. Yeah, I like it. And so kid. this, this purple one. chair is actually like starting to get more deformed than that blue one. It's brand, it's new. And the kids have sat on it more. But I decided to open it up to see if, what what's inside it because maybe there was something off inside. Maybe there was like a hard plastic part or something. But no, it's this stuff right here. And this stuff, it's like the peanut stuff, but like look, you stick it's like it like sticks to your hands. Mom, watch, watch this. Did you see this one? Like I can't even touch it. I know. It's magical. <laughs> Anyways, my mom's not happy because I'm making a big mess. Well, I'm trying but, to help. But we're here in Chester at my parents' house. Uh, What's this? It's, I'm trying to help. It's Martin Luther King Day tomorrow, right? And so yeah. uh, the kids don't have school. Plus, we have a funeral to go to down here. Christina's cousin passed away. Battle with cancer. And just can cancer sucks. Cancer sucks. We do not like cancer. So anyways, we're just down here. Now I gotta clean this mess up. Nikoi is just, just thrilled about this. Nikoi is trying out to be the next girl Gumby. Huh, Nikoi? She's so flexible. So your mom can see it, turn. There you go. Show us your moves, girlfriend. Oh my man. William, let's see you do that. Okay, are you gonna do it? You I get saw easy. my feet. You I saw your feet? You touched your eyeballs with your toes? Oh my cat. <laughs> let's see you suck on your big toe. Okay, William, let's see you do it, honey. Oh. <laughs> no, you gotta get on your tummy. Lay on like, your tummy and do it like Cece. You can't do it. Yes, you did. I saw you do you it. You did it. You showed <laughs> Gamma. Show me again. <laughs> Lay down Mommy, on your tummy. Now put your head here. back. Oh, not lay down on your tummy. Well, there you go. Yes, you go, buddy. Look at my face. You two friends, I got to my eyebrows. Wowza. Okay, show us. Whoa, William. Oh, my God. <laughs> I want to show you that. That was a good trip. You stayed up on your hair. I'm probably going to do it this way so they can see my eyes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I'll try to look at the camera. Oh, suck on your big toe. Come on. <laughs> I'm trying. See if you can test your toe. William's, William's sucking on his big toe. Okay, no. everybody, I want you guys to try that and see if you can do it. Oh my gosh. Nikoi, now show us how you break your legs. How you cut your legs off. Break your legs. Now break your legs. <laughs> Koi, where'd your legs go? <laughs> break those toes out. My legs are Oh, William, your legs are broken too. <laughs> well, I guess all that gymnastics is paying off. She's a Gumby. <laughs> Hi, kitty. She's going to be an Olympic gymnast. You want to? Okay. Hey, Nicole. My flip in gymnastics. Okay, show us your flip in gymnastics. Then they do a walk. Good job, Will. Oh, sister's helping. Little brother, get on the swing. What a good sister. <laughs> this is dangerous. Are we recording? It's birthday time. It is officially evidence that Beatrice is getting old. Yeah, <laughs> not actually, as old. Just kidding. Mom, not as seasonally old as beautiful. Mom, what does your cake say? <laughs> I don't know. Nothing. O L D. Remember we did that? Here, hold your cake like that. You can't smile see at the camera. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday, dear mommy Beatrice. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. Good job, guys. I got passed out. Smoke detector's gone. Tommy does. <laughs> Hi, 
Dykes fam, how's it going today? I hope you're doing good wherever you're at in the world. Uh, today we came down to my hometown area to go and celebrate the life of uh, Christina's cousin who recently passed away. Battled cancer for about five years and just couldn't beat it. And so anyways, he left this earth just a couple days ago and left behind a wife and two teenagers just a wonderful family and so anyways we came down here to to go to his funeral and <clears throat> this is him this is mark what do you think babe so the point of the story is that make sure that you love the people around you and you make sure that you do things in this life that you can be proud of and that other people can look up to and we hope that we bring some happiness and love to your guys' lives and we hope that you remember to tell those around you how much you love them because you never know when they're going to be gone and so we love you guys yeah don't take life for granted and mark was a great example of living being positive even when he was battling with cancer for many years he was still so positive one of the nicest people i've ever met and i just you know his wife and kids have to go through life now without him being by their side the good news is is we believe that there's life after death that there's this is not it that we can um, be a family together again and that we'll see our loved ones after this life and so with that faith and that hope, uh, we believe that we will see Mark again and that his wife and kids will see him again. And, and that gives us a lot of hope. So anyways, we're going to miss you, Mark. And we know, we believe that we'll see you soon. So until we meet again, brother. Um, but anyways, since I, I figured we're down here in, in uh, Ephraim, Utah, we'd come and eat at one of our favorite places called the Snow Dragon. It's like so. the best Chinese food ever. You guys should come here. Yeah, so let's do that. I'm gonna open up our fortune cookies. Christina, you get to pick yours. Yeah, don't pick my fortune. It's bad luck. You never yeah. pick somebody else's fortune. Yeah, don't do that. <coughs> it's also bad fortune to stay at the next structure. I only got one hand. <laughs> Vlog camera's hard. Okay, here we go. Christina, you go first. Okay. <clears throat> Ready? Good news of a long-awaited event will arrive soon. <laughs> What's that, babe? <laughs> That's actually He's pretty funny. Be a little nervous. Yeah, babe. Let's see if it's hey, gonna come true. This is ridiculous. Always be modest and be proud of it. I think that means Josh needs to be a little bit humbled because maybe he's a little too big headed. Look how big his head Kali is. Kali G. Kali G. <laughs> that means curry chicken. Curry chicken. Well, children and YouTube friends, this is where me and Christina ran around on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> It's this actually, is where Josh hunted me down. I hunted and gathered her. <laughs> it's actually changed quite a bit since we've been here. There's quite a few new buildings and Whatever, whatnot. I went here still. So, oh, look, there's the, the bell tower. This is the infamous bell tower. Let me tell you the truth hold, about hold on, the bell whoa, 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 hold on. Hold on, just a sec. That is the place where you become a true badger. And to become a true badger, you have to kiss someone. I want you to all know that I kissed Josh at the bell tower and became a true badger. But Josh, I have only been a true badger one time. How many times have you been a true badger? Only one that mattered. <laughs> what? You don't know nothing. All that matters, Christina, is that me and you became true badgers together is that out of all the girls somehow i was lucky enough you're, to keep you you're so lucky this is where i used to live this is where christina first lived when she came snow garden apartments hey i want to see
see a comment if any of you people know where Snow College is. Come on. You mean slow knowledge. Slow knowledge. If you got the same slow knowledge as we did. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so a little backstory before we get into this. So Snow College is like a big high school. There was like 2,000 students that went here at the time. It's actually doubled in size, I think, or tripled. But anyways, I thought I had met all the cute girls on campus in the first semester that I went here. And I hadn't met Christina. I never, I don't even remember seeing her around. However, That's second I semester, <laughs> I lived over here. This place is called Park Place. So I lived the third door down. And like, like I said, I, the first semester I, I hadn't met Christina. I dated, I dated some girls and hung out with some girls. And I, I thought I had pretty much met all the cute girls, at least the ones that I thought would like me. And then what I happened like second you. semester? Then I moved over here by him, and he just she got kicked out of her it. apartment over there. I did not get kicked <laughs> out. I got offered free housing here, actually. Oh, you did? Because I'm a star student. <laughs> yeah. So Christina moves over into the first apartment in Building B, and this is right at the end. This is right before Christmas break, mm -hmm. and me and my roommate were walking to our our apartment. We were like, "Wait, who's moving in down there? That's a girl apartment, like." <laughs> there's gonna be some ladies moving and hopefully there's some cute babes so we're like why don't we stop in to say hello and meet them so that's exactly what we did and i met this cute lady i was there and we instantly it fell in love. love at first sight kind, kind for, of. for one of us for one of us <laughs> we'll have to get into that story a different time oh, but lovey. going down memory lane guys memory lane <laughs> this brings back a lot of memories so yeah, let's know where you fell in love. Yeah, you from Utah holds a special place in our heart. So forever and ever. It's a really yeah. good school though too. It, it's okay. It was actually rated the number one junior college in the whole nation. Oh. Yeah, it actually is a really good school. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's it for me from Utah. We headed home now to go get. Go oh, our, our kids are. Our kids are with my parents, so... At the movie, you we'll, know, that's what we do. Yeah, so we're gonna go figure that all out. Hold the cheese. Hi, Baba. You want the cheese? Yeah. No, say hi. Tell them hi. 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 Oh, this is Did you go to the movie with Grandpa? Yeah. But not if we don't did You forget. Hey. Did you see you a polar bear movie? movie? Yeah. He's a big boy. Yeah, but he needs a big, big, big tack. Okay, and it's two bagels now. Oh, really? And it's so big. Hey, can you, show me, so can you show me your squishy face? <laughs> That's my favorite. I just can't ever get sick of that. But get a camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we have Tane and Nicole. Hi, guys. Did you go to the polar bear movie? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Well, that was in sync. So where are we at now, Christina? At my mommy's. She's sick today, though. She doesn't feel very good. Oh, give her your mama a hug. She no, needs then a I'll hug. get sick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, silence. Whoa, Josh. Silence, Dykes fam. You're bossy, Joshy. Guys, I am tired. I'm so tired. A couple late nights, a lot of traveling. We went down to uh, about an hour and a half south of here in our travels and then travel back today with snowing on the way back. It's been a long couple days. And now we got the kids with us, Williams. William, say hi. 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 And we're finally home now, safe and sound. And happy home. and healthy. Except we're just tired. <laughs> I think we're tired. I don't think the kids are. Oh, happy Martin Luther King no, Day, everybody. Yay, no school today. Yeah, no. you guys like having no school today? Yeah. I love how that's sure? the first association with Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> what? Yay, no school! You gotta sleep in today. Yeah, who cares about a revolutionary guy who uh, lived sure, his life? Him, we would have had to go to school who, today. Who paid the ultimate price <laughs> trying to help with freedom for all. Um, but, no, Martin Luther King uh, definitely stands for greatness in my opinion because he stood for liberty and freedom and it's a great day to reflect on that because we're very blessed with with those things so we take them for granted way too much so thank you Martin Luther King for uh, standing up for what you believed in 
I believe it was the right thing to do. And he at least was brave enough to do it. So, do you guys know anything about Martin Luther King? They made it so um, boys and girls could be treated fairly. <laughs> oh, is, it, is it right to treat everybody the same or can we be mean to some people and be nice to others? It's they um, mean treated to be, fairly. They be mean to brown people, but then, um, but then someone said it's not fair to the brown people because they don't get funness too and get treated nicely. That's right. That's right. But the but the tan people do, so that's not fair. <laughs> So our belief as the Dykes fam is this, yeah. and tell me, hey, tell me if you guys agree Nicole with this. I'm kind of brown. <laughs> You're kind of Nicole's kind of brown. Well, she is a quarter Asian, so hey, this is what the Dykes family believes about the, all this. In the grand scheme of things, we believe that there is a God who created all of us, and He created all of us equal. He loves each and every one of us. We're all His sons and daughters. And we should treat each other as such. And that's what the Dykes fan believes. Is there a consensus? If God can love Josh, anybody can love him. If no, then everybody can be loved. So Yes, that's true. And guess what? And we love you guys. I don't care what color your skin is, if you're a boy, girl, man, female, what your beliefs are, we love you guys and appreciate you watching our vlogs. Don't we? Do we or no? Yay! We do? Okay. All right, that's going to be it from the Dykes fam, guys. We love you so much, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Be sure to subscribe, and what? And free out. Free out. I love you, Dad. I love you.